Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So today I'll show you how to calculate the mean deviation for group data. Okay, the formula of mean deviation for group data is E equals to the summation of modulus of x minus x bar multiplied with f and divided by the summation of f where x is the midpoint, x bar is the mean and f is the frequency. Okay, for example, calculate the mean deviation of the following data. So, this is the data. Okay, so for the first class, we have from 0 to 4, the frequency is 30. Second class, from 5 to 9, the frequency is 51. Third class, 10 to 14, the frequency is 10. And the last class, 15 to 19, the frequency is also 10. So, to calculate the mean deviation, okay, from the formula of mean deviation for group data, we know that we must find the value of mean first. Okay, from the formula, we must find the mean of the data. Okay, so we recall back the formula of mean for group data is x bar equals to the summation of fx divided by the summation of f. So we know that x is the midpoint of class. So we find x for each class first. Okay. So we add um, column for x for midpoint. Okay. So for the first class 0 to 4. Okay. The midpoint is the lower boundary plus the upper boundary and then we divide it by 2. So, 0 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. Second class, 5 to 9. 5, 5 plus 9 divided by 2 is 7. 10 to 14. 10 plus 14 divided by 2 is 12. And last class, 15 plus 19 divided by 2 is 17. Okay. After we get the value of x for each class, okay, we must find fx. Okay, f multiply with x. So, 30 times 2. Okay. So, this is the column for fx. Okay. So, again, 30 times 2 is 60. And then, 51 times 7 is 300. 57 10 times 12 is 120 and last one 10 times 17 is 170 ok so from the formula we must find the summation of fx so summation of fx 60 plus 357 plus 120 plus 170 is equal to seven hundred and seven. Okay, and then we also have have to find the summation of f. So thirty plus fifty one plus ten plus ten is equal to hundred and one. Okay. So, mean for this data, we substitute the value of summation of fx and summation of f into the formula of mean. So, we get 707 divided by 101. So, mean for this data is 7. Okay, next, from this formula, we must find the modulus of x minus x bar. So, 
modulus of x minus x bar our x bar is 7 ok, the mean is 7 so we can substitute or press the calculator x minus 7 ok, and then we get for the first class is our x is 2 and then minus 7 2 minus 7 is negative 5 so we have modulus here so modulus means the value is always positive so x minus x power for the first class is positive 5 ok for the next class x is 7 minus 7 is equal to 0 ok third class 12 minus 7 is 5 and the last class 17 minus 7 is 10 ok and then next from the formula we must find the modulus of x minus x bar multiply with f frequency for each class ok so x minus x bar multiply with f ok so for the first class we have 5 multiply with 30 so we get ok 150 and then for second class we have 0 multiply with f is 51 so 0 times 51 is 0 and for third class we have 5 times 10 so 5 times 10 is 50 and last class we have 10 multiply with 10 ok 10 so we get 100 ok and then we must find the summation of modulus of x minus x bar multiply with f. So, the summation of this column 150 plus 0 plus 50 plus 100 is equal to 300. Okay, therefore, our mean deviation. is equal to ok, the summation of modulus of x minus x bar multiply with f is 300 so 300 divided by the summation of f summation of f is 101 so 300 divided by 101 we get the value is 2 point nine seven so this is our mean deviation two point nine seven okay so this is the steps how to calculate the mean deviation for group data Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum.